Hotel India, Hotel Golf Hotel, Gary's Depart for Dublin. Aircraft type, aircraft type. A Boeing 737 MAX 8. That's going to London City, that plane. Bambia 175. For Stockholm, that one. The safety 2200 Neo. Landed from Bristol or London Gatwick, that's E320. Last call for the remaining passengers on British Airways departure to London Heathrow, flight number 1445. Please proceed immediately to gate 9. Alpha just arrived. Alpha. In the Borazi like. That's the 1820 Neo that just survived. Well, I'm 
This flight's going to New York, John F. Kennedy, this one. It's Delta Airlines, Boeing 767-300ER. November one six zero November November one six November 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 one six zero three. Getting ready to take getting ready to depart for New York, John F. Kennedy. Off to Brussels it goes. It's a Boeing 70. It's a Boeing. It's a Boeing, it's a Boeing 77 Max 8 200. Well, here it goes. Off to New York. John F. Kennedy. Delta 209. Goes Delta 279 to New York, John F. Kennedy. Oh, oh my god. It's one of the big ones at Edinburgh Air Force, maybe. Please proceed immediately to gate 12. So where is it taxing to? Which place? It's going to be over there. Golf, Mike, India, Delta, Oscar. Golf, Mike, India, Delta, Oscar. When you're putting the new board, the standard board, the class, 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 the class,
been wet. Items, including laptops, must be, switch, must be switched off and stowed away safely. As a reminder, smoking is not permitted at any time while still board. Well, these jet ones now push back for its departure to Gatwick or London Gatwick or London Luton. No, they still from the flight deck captain speaking very well, Mark Ward, British Airways on the flight. Um, to another CDRA. Thanks for our show, Paul. He's no problem. Apologies about the late run in this service. I think it's been quite a few delays this morning at Heathrow. Uh, indeed, with strong winds up here, I think it's caused a few delays as well. With that in mind, we've got a restriction on departure um, in about 35 minutes' time. So we'll hopefully be underway in the next 20 minutes and get you down to London just as soon as we can. Um, hey, I'm the captain. My name is Tom Hamilton. Go in the flight deck, senior first officer Max Hearn and the cabin. You've got a fantastic team uh, led by Nader. Once we get going, flight time of just under one hour to Heathrow. Hope you find some smooth, smooth air. Um, once we get above the clouds here at Edinburgh, but um, as we do a flight, we recommend that while seated, you keep the seatbelt fastened. And do you want to turn the seatbelt signs on, please? Would you add your seats out and fasten your seatbelts? I'll leave you in the cabin for the day. It's um. The air can, uh, Caracudos automatic and cross check. The condensation starts to build up in the cabin, especially covering the windows. I can't see. Oh, no. <clears throat> it's pissy. And it, and it was raining and damp that morning. Yeah. I was arriving back from New York. Even the weather was in New York when I flew back was really good. Oh, that's good. Nice, nice sunny weather. But so when I arrived there, um, it was wet and damp and rainy. Oh, This airport is where the Queen's Coffin, the late Queen's Coffin, flew from to RAF Northolt. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I toured the Holyrood Palace. The yeah. Palace of Palace. That's Holyrood, yeah. They said she laid in state there for a while. Yeah. Whilst the cabin crew take their positions for the safety briefing, please can we remind you smoking, including e cigarettes, vaping, and use of other smoking devices is not permitted at any time whilst on board. This includes the toilets which are fitted with smoke detectors. Personal devices should have the flight safe mode feature enabled now. Handheld devices must be held securely or placed into a pocket. Larger devices, including laptops, must be stowed safely for takeoff and landing. Please unplug your device from the power sockets for takeoff and landing. They must also be unplugged when they aren't in use during the flight. If you lose your device in your seat, please don't move the seat and inform the cabin crew. Hand baggage must be placed under the seats in front of you or in an overhead locker, so it doesn't block the aisles or exits. Place items in the locker carefully as they may fall out and injure someone. We ask for your full attention whilst we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft, as they may differ from any aircraft you have flown in before. Please check your seatbelt is fastened securely and worn whenever the seatbelt signs are on. It is fastened and adjusted like this and opened like this. For your comfort and safety, we recommend keeping your seatbelt fastened and visible at all times. If the cabin air supply fails, oxygen will be provided and masks like this will appear automatically.
carried the Queen's, the late Queen's coffin and was the most tracked air, uh, flight on flight radar. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. And I was watching all the coverage on the BBC News Channel and uh, seeing her coffin being driven from RAF Northod along down the A40 Westway. And it's escorted by a bunch of uh, police bikes. And I remember uh, the crowd seeing the coffin pass through, pass by where my flat is. Yeah, so I knew. And days before that, when the King and the Queen Consul were making their way to Buckingham Pass from Maria of Northfelt, I knew it was coming the, the same route near my flat. So I quickly went out of my flat and saw all the. Um, Escorts or police bikes seeing uh, the Rolls Royce carrying the King and the Queen Consorts all the way to Buckingham Palace. It's just amazing. Yeah. So it was the day after the Queen's death was announced. Wow. Yeah. First, for the King and the Queen, they flew from Aberdeen Dice. Back to RAF Northall, yes. Let's come from this um, for this one. Love this bit. 
it so much. on the left, if you're interested to look out. Very good afternoon to you. My name's Nate Army and Clyde Lee's on this afternoon's flight down to London Heathrow. A special welcome to those who are returning from my executive club and also those who are joining from our Walmart device partners. I remind you to keep your seatbelts fastened whenever you are seated and you must remain securely fastened whenever the fastened seatbelt signs are on. When opening overhead lockers, please take care as items may have moved and could fall out and cause injury. As a reminder, smoking, including e-cigarettes, vaping and use of other smoking devices are not permitted at HR whilst on board. This includes the toilets which are fitted with smoke detectors. We are pleased to have launched our free onboard Wi-Fi messaging service for all Executive Club members. And to connect via your Wi-Fi or join our Executive Club, please visit shop.va.com where you can access free messaging and discover more offers available. To keep up to date with latest travel and destination information, you can also read on Digital Highlight magazine for free, which is available via the dot .air Wi-Fi login screen on your personal electronic device. All phones must be placed in silence to avoid disturbing other customers, and please note that video and phone calls are also not permitted at any time during the flight. We're about to start on board service. If you do have a good allergy or would like information on specific allergens on today's flight, then please contact them for your crew. Seats Club Europe, German and I will be offering you drinks from the bar and an afternoon tea service. And for our customers in our Euro Traveller cabin, we have Abby, Claudia, and Kate looking after you. We'll pass it through the cabin very shortly with a complimentary bottle of water and a snack, which will then be followed by a high life cafe service. They'll be offering a selection of drinks and snacks which are available for purchase. If you'd like to make any purchases, please connect to BA Wi Fi and visit shop.ba.com to discover the items available or simply refer to the menu card in your seat pocket. Please note that we do not accept cash as payment. With any much of the relax, if there's anything that I or my team can do to make your journey a little bit more comfortable, please don't hesitate to contact one of us.
no sign of the aircraft in my camcorder. But I can see in my own eyes. We're now beginning our descent into London Heathrow now. That was a bit rough, that. <laughs> well, I'm used to it anyway.
I still have. Oh boy, here we go again. into the clouds.
down, flat three. Twickenham. It's Harlequin's Grounds just down there. Felton Depot on the left, just before Felton Station. Three one two. That's the avenue viewing area we're going over at Hudson Cross over the A thirty. Let's move on away. Why is there a dream on the hangar? Parking bay. Hamilton and his crew, welcome to London Heathrow. Time is approaching 20 minutes past five. Please do remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the fastened seatbelt sign has been switched off. When it is safe to do so, please take care and open the overhead lockers as items may have moved during the flight and could fall out to cause an injury to yourself or fellow passenger. You may now make and receive calls as well as use all data services on your handheld electronic devices. We do ask you to please check that you have all your personal belongings with you before leaving the aircraft. If your journey ends here at Heathrow, then please follow the yellow signs for arrivals. And if you are connecting onto another flight from Heathrow this evening, please check the information screens for your departing gate number. And if this is not yet displayed, please follow the purple signs for flight connections. We will shortly be arriving into Terminal 5, and if you do require assistance, then please do speak to one of our ground staff colleagues. We'll be more than happy to help you. And for our customers who order special assistance to leave the aircraft, we do ask you to please remain seated until the aisle around you is clear, that the crew will be on hand to assist you further. I would like to take this opportunity to apologise for the delay to the arrival of this service, and also to thank you all for your patience throughout. We do realise that you have a choice of airlines, and thank you for choosing to fly with British Airways, and look forward to welcome back again on board one of our flights very soon. Thank you, and good evening. Still late afternoon, it's still um, 20 past 5. Still late afternoon.
Bursting for pee. Bursting for pee now. I'm bursting for piss. Nice meeting you. Have a good flight tomorrow morning. <laughs> 